Jared or Gerard? Coach? Jared? Thank you. Okay, we are joined on the podium by head coach Steve Alford, senior guard Jared Lucas, and senior guard Keenan Blackshear. We'll open up uh, with an opening statement from Coach Alford. Yeah, um, congratulations to Dayton. I thought they um, outplayed us in the first seven of the game and the last seven of the game. Um, up 17 with seven to go, and we get beat 24 to four. Um, so great credit to them. They battled, they competed. Um, appreciate the effort that our seniors have given us. They've had a lot to do with our, our winning. Uh, our regular seasons, the last two seasons have been outstanding. And these two guys have done a lot. It's unfortunate we ain't able to do anything in the postseason. Um, and it's the br brutality of uh, uh, March Madness, we say that all the time. And um, we just really, really poor offense the last seven minutes and very, very poor defense. And when you do that on this stage, um, you're probably not going to win very many games. And, and that's really what happened tonight. I thought uh, in the middle of that, I thought we played really good basketball. So um, Hunter obviously is hurt, not a, a part of this, but he was another senior. Um, who has really battled through a lot of injuries. And he and Keenan and Jared have had uh, so much to do uh, with the 48 wins that we've gotten over the last two years. And they're great individuals, great young men, and um, very much appreciate the, the efforts and the work that they've put into it. And um, I know they're going to have very bright, bright futures, bright careers uh, in basketball and outside of basketball. Uh, so they've meant an awful lot to our program. So um, great credit to them for getting us to this point over the last two years because they put in a lot of work. Thank you, Coach. Now we'll open up for questions for our student athletes. Down here. Matthew Coles, Associated Press. What was it about the game that produced those runs? I mean, you guys had some big runs, 16-0 run. They had, you know, 17-0 run. What, what was it about the game that had that back and forth uh, mode to it? Jared, I'll have you go first. They're a good team. They all played us down the stretch. Uh, just March Madness basketball, really. Uh, he, it was just electric in there. Uh, won't never forget this. Uh, it's crazy. Right in the back row. Alex Margulies, Nevada Sportsnet. Uh, for you first, Jared, obviously this is not how you wanted to see your career come to an end in Nevada. How do you kind of, uh, what, kind of the, what are the emotions, the feelings that you're going through right now? Uh, it's hard to really speak on it right now. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's been amazing. You know, for you, um, what, in your words, what do you think happened in that last seven minutes? Uh, just a meltdown, really. Uh, uh, can't really put it in the words, really. It's just, I'll take responsibility for it. It's on me. Any other questions for our student athletes? Can I write it down here, please? Um, Alex Mayhart with the, um, with the Salt Lake Tribune, I almost said Associated Press. That's not true. Um, I apologize for that. Um, you know, people watching the game at home seemed um, kind of annoyed at the net to kind of didn't let the ball come through. Obviously, it's not the reason why the game went the way it went. But as you guys are playing, does that disrupt anything at all? Is, is it annoying? Does it even matter? No, I don't really. It don't really matter. Uh, it's, it's basketball at the end of the day. We played on many nets and. It was, it was similar nets like that growing up, so it happens. Right in the back there. Jared, I'm sure it's hard to even um, remember <laughs> what happened, you know, during that 24 to four run. But just from what you saw on the floor, what do you think happened? How did how did that go down? Uh, they they, play, they played better down the stretch. We didn't do what we were supposed to do. Okay, checking our Zoom or any of our Zoom participants have any questions for our student athletes. If you do, please hit the raise hand button on the window. I'm not seeing any and if no other questions in the room, we'll excuse our student athletes and turn the time over for the rest of the questions for job, Coach Alford, please. Thank you, gentlemen.
Alex Markley's Nevada Sportsnet. Um, Steve, I, I know when you came into the tournament, you said that March, you know, I don't recall the exact, it can be brutal. And, and obviously the, the way this finished out, it was brutal. Um, how do you put it in your own words? Yeah, it's just, uh, we didn't play very good basketball the last seven minutes. So when that happens, then this can be the result. I thought we did a lot of good things. After we settled down to start the game, uh, I thought we really played good basketball and had uh, a really good flow. But um, from that seven minute mark on, uh, it just steamrolled um, the other direction. We couldn't get a stop and we couldn't get a basket. And so when that happens, um, we, we had some crazy turnovers that, I mean, two guys take the ball out of bounds, makes no sense. We had a DHO that was a reverse handoff, which I have no idea. We threw threw the ball in the backcourt. I mean, it, we just did some things that were a little bit out of character, and it just steamrolled from there. All right, do we have any other questions for Coach? Okay, back row again. I know you briefly touched on the two guys sitting next to you and, and just the senior class. I know it's hard to kind of speak about what they've done, but if you could just kind of give more context into just what this group has meant to you as, as they have now played their last game. Yeah, they were, they've were they been outstanding. They've been leaders on the court. They've been leaders off the court. Um, they've done a great job classroom otherwise. Um, so they've been um, that senior class and others, the, the whole team. But uh, the, that senior class has had um, – an enormous um, amount of success, and they've done a tremendous job of building this the way we want it built. So it's unfortunate that it's got to end like this. Um, but again, that's, that's what this tournament that's what this tournament is, and we just didn't didn't do enough good things down the stretch. But um, doesn't take away from what the two that were up here and Hunter have meant to this program and will mean to this program. Okay, back in the corner there, please. Yeah, it's Chuck Culpepper from the Washington Post. Um, you played in a great, tough league, and you had a great finish in that league in the, in the regular season. I was wondering, um, is an ending like that then the last thing you expect to see? Um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't think I expected to see a 24-4 to turnaround. Uh, the game was – you know, for the majority of the game, we were handling the game. Um, so I wasn't expecting it, but uh, I know Dayton's very good. Um, and they're very explosive because they can make threes. And we did a really good job of defending the three ball. They're, the three line was defended extremely well until the last six minutes. And then they made everything. Uh, and we didn't defend it uh, very well. And we didn't handle uh, their runs. We called timeouts as much as we could. Um, but we just... We had zero flow to us offensively. Um, didn't like what we did offensively at all. And then defensively, we just we got no stops. I mean, we had first four-minute game, we held them to four. Second four-minute game, four. Third four-minute game, six. And then it went 11-13. And so if you're going to give up 11 and 13 in the last two four-minute games, stuff like this can happen. Was there a side to going up 17 that almost kind of hurt your team? You could maybe get a little bit relaxed at that point. I mean, do you feel like maybe guys kind of were feeling like they were just going to cruise the rest of the way and, and, and maybe got caught by surprise? I have no idea, Alex. That, that's a player's question. I mean, I'm a former player. No, I want to go up 17. I don't want to go up 14. Uh, I'd like to have been up 17, 20, 25. Um, we just, um, from that time out on, we didn't play good basketball. We did. Like I said, we did uncharacteristic things. We didn't, uh, we didn't rotate the way we got to rotate defensively. We had breakdowns defensively. And I thought offensively we were brutal in that time. So brutal offense, brutal defense in an eight-minute uh, NCAA game is probably not going to result in very good, um, a very good finish. And it didn't for us tonight. And hats off to Dayton. They played extremely well that last seven minutes. Any more questions for Coach? All right. Thank okay. you, Coach. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thanks so much.